Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Uh, today I am going to be making a centerpiece that was requested using some silver fringe. So I was supposed to come up with an idea and I think I got something pretty good and most of the things are from the Dollar Tree except the fringe was from Hobby Lobby and the glue, the E6000, was also from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to get that up today and I really need to get my planner video up because I'm late again. I'm supposed to be doing those on Fridays, but again, we had another busy weekend. Uh, I had my daughter come down and visit with two of my grandchildren on Saturday, which is always nice. And then yesterday we had a retirement party for a guy that my husband worked with. So that was a nice time too. So now I'm going to try to get caught up with all my videos, and I hope you guys enjoy this one, and let's get started. What I need is one of these um, candle plates from the Dollar Tree and one of the little candlestick holders. And I can get my E6000 out here. There it is. And then you'll need some E6000 to hold these two pieces together. We're going to glue the plate on top of here. So we're going to just put some dots of the E6000. Some good sized dots, but you don't want too much so it doesn't run down the side. And then we're going to center the plate. And then I'm going to set something on here just for a little weight. Let's see here, I have this thing. I'm just going to set that on there. And then you're going to want to let that sit for a good 24 hours, or even maybe a little bit longer so it gets a really, really good hold, depending on the weather. If it's really humid or something, I'd let it sit for two days. But E6000 holds these together really well, so we're just going to wait for that to dry, and then we'll move on to our next step. Okay, now that we're all set up here, and this is dry, we're going to take our fringe. Um, this is the fringe that we're going to use. It has a really lot of pretty sparkle in it and stuff. Um, you don't have to use fringe. They have a lot of different kind of embellishments at Hobby Lobby, and the dang most of the dangly things, like with the little crystals and things, I found them in the curtain uh, fabric aisle. So I'm just going to put some glue on here and we're going to glue this around the edge. And you want to put the glue on the fabric because if you put it on the glass it'll cool too quick and you won't have time to uh, get your fabric where you want it. And this has a little stretch to it too, so... So that's going to look cute. It's just the right length. And like I said, you know, you don't have to use the fringy stuff. They have all kinds of really pretty uh, danglies there. But this was my request for this one, so this is what we're going to do and see what we come up with. And I think it's going to look very pretty. I've never used this stuff on a centerpiece before, but why not? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish gluing this around. Alright, we have our little fringe on here. And now I'm going to take uh, some of the diamond wrap that I got at the Dollar Tree. This stuff's really pretty. This I got in the Halloween section. Sometimes you can find it in the floral section, but they really haven't been having it in there too much. And we're going to take that and glue that right around the top of where our fringe hangs, just to give it a little bit more sparkle. And you just really need to do the top edge of this, because it's going to hang down a little bit. I think that's going to look really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll finish gluing that on. Alright, there it is with the fringe and the uh, diamond wrap. I think that looks really pretty. It actually looks a lot nicer than I had kind of pictured in my head. So now I'm just going to take um, one of these little pillar candles from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use a whole um, 
Those are one, two, three, four, five rows that's on here, and I'm just going to glue that around the top, and we're going to hook that onto the candle. You kind of want to leave a little bit to overlap on this just to make sure it stays because these don't stay too good. But when you do do this, you got to remember that, you know, when you're using the hot glue on it, it's kind of melting the wax a little bit. So you need to let it just sit until the wax cools and then it'll hold it really good. All right, there's our candle. I love this stuff. It just makes everything look more special. So I'm just going to add a whole bunch of glue here down to the bottom of our candle and place that. Let me stand up here so I can see what I'm doing. Place that right in the center of our plate. I'm going to turn that a little bit. There. Okay. So now you're going to pick out whatever flowers that you want to use. I have, of course, my Dollar Tree roses that I pulled off the stems and then I glued the, I cut them off and I glued the leaves to the bottom of the flower. But you can use any flowers you choose or colors. I just happen to have a lot of these around so we're going to use these for this project. And then you're just going to go ahead and put a little nice glob of glue on there. You don't want to cover up your thing and we're just going to glue these around. You kind of want to butt them up against each other so they're nice and close. <clears throat> and that's what we're going to do with the roses. We're just going to keep putting these right next to each other. And I'm going to go ahead and finish gluing those around. Okay, the flower's all the way around now. And I'm just going to take, <clears throat> excuse me, a few pieces of the little baby's breath that I also, you know, got at the Dollar Tree. And I just cut a few little pieces off. And I'm just going to tuck them in here. I think I'm only going to put maybe like three of these in here. I don't want too much, just a little, just to add a little something. I think that looks cute. And you just glue that right to the side of your roses. And I'll put one more back here. Or you can add whatever else you want. These are just my suggestions. Yeah, that actually, I think, could use one more. Let's see. Stick one more over the side. There we go. So there we have our flowers. It's real simple, real easy, and it looks really, really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up here, and we'll light up our candle and see how pretty this will look on a table. Alright guys, there it is. Um, it came out really nice. It's actually a lot nicer than I expected. And I think these look really pretty. Like I said, you can use anything. It doesn't have to be the fringe. They have all kinds of really pretty embellishments that you could glue onto here. And even maybe a bit, little bit of a bigger flower might be nice too. But all in all, from pretty much everything from the Dollar Tree except the glue and the fringe, uh, it's you know a very affordable project and I think it came out really pretty. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this project. Have a great day.